What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So I got my first project of 2024 and um, hope you guys had a happy new year and uh, this is my first, you know, major video like this for the new year and yeah. So let's go ahead and get straight into my next project and this is the Aoshima Toyota Crown uh, 2015 version. Uh, yeah, I did an unboxing video on it because I thought it was pretty interesting and um, it's a very cool car. Uh, so last year, 2023, I did, I did all American vehicles. I was, I was gonna say mostly, no, I did all American vehicles last year, and that was pretty good. So this year, I kind of want to change it up a little bit because I really do enjoy doing these uh, Japan, Japanese, uh, you know, JDM cars and stuff like that. So uh, for this year, we're going to do a nice easy build for the start of the year because last year. The end of the build was at 32 Ford. That was pretty a stunts build. So let's calm down a little bit and let's do a nice, easy, chill build. And yeah, we're doing this to the crown. So the only thing that I'm doing aftermarket or 3D printed that is, is some new wheels. Uh, these are the wheels that I'm doing with and they're pretty nice. They're, um, they're you know, multi-spoke wheels. Very nice. And I am using the kit tires because the kit tires, Aoshima does really good size of um, sizing these tires and wheels. Uh, like sometimes Ravel kind of gets that kind of screwed up. Ravel makes the wheels sometimes a bit too small and the tire sidewall is a bit too thick. But Aoshima does a pretty good job. So that's why we're using the, the tires. And um, also the rubber. I mean, all Aoshima and Tamiya kits are all rubber tires, which is pretty cool. They smell and just... They smell and you know feel like just rubber, and there's the wheels right there, pretty neat. So very cool. And that's the only thing we're doing aftermarket. Just change, out, just change out the wheels. Everything else we're doing basically like from the kit. So let's go ahead and show you this beautiful body. So I didn't get much too much done. I just got the body prepped and got it ready for primer at this point. And there's different ways, the version that I have, there's different ways you can do it. You can do it as a late version or an early version. Uh, it basically means, that's what it says in the, in the instructions, that is. Basically, the early version is the first version of that, you know, body style to come out. And then early, you know, later in the, in the years, uh, probably like three or four years, they don't change the body style, you just update it. You just give it a nice update. Basically, you just change out the grill a little bit. Maybe the headlights, maybe even the interior, they change out. So, but I'm doing the updated version. So that means I'm doing the late version. So the late version has a different bumper, front bumper and grill. So when I did that unboxing video, I, I thought the, the grills were the same, but they're actually not. So the version that I'm doing, like I said, is a late version. So it's more updated. I have to use this full decked out chrome grill, which is not a big deal. I uh, just mask it off and paint the center black. And then this is the the early version, which is you know the version that when this car first came out, this body style it had these huge you know fog lights. And then the grill is a little bit different, as you can tell. Uh, the grill on the newer one is a bit bigger because that part right there that I'm pointing at goes right up to the headlights while the, this older one doesn't go quite near the headlights but you know not as close as that one and then with this one you do use this type of grill um, which is the chrome outside which is pretty nice and then you do have the center separate which is super nice that you can paint black separately and then that's how it, that goes in so very cool so that's the old style grill and then there's a new one so but I like the new one because it has a nicer slicker style fog lights than you know this one so um but you know all preference and speaking of fog lights these are the fog lights for the new one so they're obviously they were, the older ones i believe they were injector bean head lights and these ones are full led so uh very neat as to see how that looks pretty cool so i'm looking really forward to that and that looks really really nice the hood is not glued on because I have to get the windshield wipers in there. So I'm gonna keep this separate. I'll paint the hood separate to get the windshields, to get you know like wipers in there easier. Uh, if I do that, then glue the hood on right now because it is a curbside. There's no engine in this one. And then the grill is just pressy fit in there. The grill I might strip it because, well, 
yeah, yeah. Uh, that's basically one of the main reasons why I ship my chromes because where they're mounted to, to the tree, I don't think these side panels are visible. No, they're not visible on the body, but I still like to ship it anyway because the version that I'm doing, you know, the color that I'm choosing, I might do the dark, I might do dark chrome or black. I'm not really sure on the chrome trim, but let's go ahead and show you the body before we get to the color. So we got the bumper, front bumper glued on. This body has the side skirt separate, which I got glued on. Back bumper, again, separate, glued on. And then the shark fin antenna, we glued it on as well. Uh, that's the modern version, I believe, or the uh, late version, the early version, I believe it has like a huge antenna. Kind of like an RC antenna, you want to call it. And then this is the updated or, you know, late version rear diffuser, which has those uh, pegs on the back. Well, the non-updated one has, you know, nothing back there. So, very cool. So that's pretty cool in this kit, this particular one, you can do the updated or, you know, just the regular version. I do believe Iwashima does offer this as a separate kit. So you just want to do the old version with the old bumper, you can just get that kit separate without all the actual bumpers and, you know, stuff. If you don't want to fill up your parking box. And then the door handles were Chrome, which this is the Athlete, which the Athlete in Japan stands for, well, for this car particularly, is the sportier trim. The lot more luxury version is, I believe it's the SE, or a, yeah, SE. That's the luxury version of this car, which has a completely different front grille. Uh, but the Athlete, which is this version, is more like a sportier one. And for some reason, I'm not sure why Toyota does this. Um, I looked at some videos. It has a lot of chrome on it, such as the grille. The door handles are even chrome. I didn't want chrome door handles, so I shipped them. And we just glued them on so we can paint them body color. And like a weird nut I am, I'm so used to doing, you know, all left-hand drive cars. I put the wrong door handle on the wrong side. <laughs> that, see the little keyhole there? That's supposed to be on the uh, the driver's side, which is the right side of this car. So, not too big a deal. We'll just get some uh, putty or whatever. We'll fill it in that keyhole. And then we'll, we can just make a new keyhole over here by just drilling in that, you know, you know small hole with a drill bit. So not too big a deal. You can't take it out because it is literally like cemented on there with, you know, model cement. So that's going nowhere. But not too big a deal. Body looks absolutely amazing. I love how this thing looks. I know some people out there don't like these, you know, sedans, GDM cars, you know, type cars. But I love them. I, I just absolutely love them. So if you're new to my channel, this is what I love. I love basically all kinds of vehicles. Then one other thing I want to show you is... The dashboard detail. This dashboard is just, it's amazing. Your, your vents. So, a lot of times, a lot of times on my review, my, yeah, uh, my dude build, I love to do research. And this is, this has two touch screens. The lower one is your do climate, your, your, yeah, your do climate control, your heating, AC and stuff. And then the top one is your navigation for your radio and, you know, um, GPS and that fun stuff, but very, very cool. But that's it for this video, guys. Just want to show you where I'm at and also the color. I forgot to show you. This is the color that we're doing. We're doing a nice dark blue. I believe this is a Chevy color, but Chevy uses uses color on their sedans. And it's a very nice dark blue. And I think it's going to look amazing on this sedan. I have tons of blue colors. Uh, so I figured let's use a blue and I chose this one. This is look amazing. So again, I'm not really sure if I'm going to do black, black chrome or dark, black chrome or, you know, dark chrome, you know, i call it, or just black trim, it, you know, all around, but who knows. But all right, guys, that's it for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. And until my next video, I'll catch you next time. Take it easy.